All right, now Pittsburgh police searching for suspects after three late night shootings left one man dead and five others in the hospital. Some neighbors are telling us they're worried about their own family's safety and they're tired of living in fear. Brianna Smith is on the north side now with more details. Pittsburgh police say four men were shot here on Brighton Place. You can see the bullet that went through that window and the damage to this car after another vehicle crashed into it. Neighbors say this violence makes them want to move out of the neighborhood. Four rounds, 30 rounds, 17 rounds. We've got like six alerts coming in. I heard maybe 20, at least 20 gunshots uh, shot up out of bed and I just saw flashlights and I knew it was gunshots right away. It scared the daylights out of us. And on Monday morning, Sereny Wellsby says she's still frightened. I've lived in the north side for years and I've never heard anything like that. Pittsburgh police say several gunshots rang out on Brighton Place around 945 Sunday evening. It was a pretty chaotic scene. Uh, there was a wrecked vehicle, multiple shell casings on the street, people scrambling. Police say four men were shot and rushed to the hospital where one of them died. Devastating. And it's just so unnecessary. We have a real problem with guns in this country, but this this is just so close to home. It's really scaring my family and I. Wellsby says now she's searching for a new house to protect her family. It just seems like it's happening more and more often and closer and closer to me. And I have a young son who lives with me, so um, we're going to start looking in the suburbs. Meanwhile, more shots rang out in Highland Park on Jackson Street around the same time. Police say one man was shot in the thigh and ankle. Then about five hours later, police say a teenager was shot in the head on Fifth Avenue in Uptown. He was last listed in critical condition. Now detectives are investigating these shootings to find those responsible. On the north side, Brianna Smith, KDKA News.